Go. Africa. I got Africa. I got the northern part of Africa in which Egypt is. It's a very unique and different place from other places. It is. It has many. It has lots of history behind it. There's pyramids, pharaohs, and it's part. It's also you might also know it as a Middle East, as well as Iran and Turkey. As you can see, the green parts are parts of the Middle East, and Egypt is right there. Um, it's bordered by Sudan and Li Liberia, Liberia, and it's surrounded by the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea. The Nile River goes through Egypt. This flag is the flag of this Egypt. The capital of Egypt is Cairo. The red stands for to overcome things, bravery, and strength. Peace, white signifies peace, honesty. Black means end of oppression. Here, as I was talking about the Nile River, the Nile River is a very important part of the life because when there's floods, it gives nutrients to the soil and that nutrients grows the crops and animals, it feeds the animals, it feeds the pe people who grew them. A scholar, some of the history behind this is that to be a scholar you need to be 12 years to prepare yourself to be a scholar. They're one of the most, in people, most important people in Egypt. So you have to have 12 years and the thing you learn is the alphabet and, and write it May be professional in it. In case of messages, you would write it in stone tablets. If they're a very important message, that's what you would do, and they would last forever. Here, this is a pharaoh, Khufu, who who was one of the who was the one that sent to make the pyramids of Giza. Those pyramids are aligned in three points and are facing the stars. And since they're facing the stars, that's in the belief in gods and goddesses. It's so it's like, it's like how they think of the afterlife and like you can be ascending the pyramid and through the light of the sun you will be ascending. Their religion isn't a religion. It's not basically, it's not like a religion. It's more like a belief in what they believe in, which is gods and goddesses. There is a realm like they pray to them, they worship them, they make shrines for them, they ask them for things. There are more than 2,000 gods and goddesses who they worshipped, pray for them, and ask them to make their wishes reality. In case somebody's sick, they would go to them. And here, one of the most worshipped gods is the sun god, Ra. It is, uh, he is said to be the sun god. As of this dark day, he would get rid of the shadows, all the evilness, darkness there. Here is an image of the medical people. They're like doctors. Since they're like doctors, they find herbs, they smash them and make ingredients for you to get in, in medicine. Since that happens, they believe that there's evil spirits in you since that's what you have. And they use herbs, they do rituals on you. And th this part right here is like ingredients for the herbs. They use herbs, they smash it, make it into pills. They put it in food and drinks so you can you won't really tell the difference, but it's healthy for you. Here, you, as you can see, there's people of some priests, pictures of some priests, worshipping to the gods, asking them, heal this person. They do like a ch chant around them and ask for their what help. Here, the way I relate it to modern time is that there's doctors now, they help you in what you need, and there's doctors back then. Helped you in what you need, try to cure you, they could. From here, and the way they focus on the body, like, if you're cut, they, they, they help you up. In the brain, you have to be mentally prepared. If you're not mentally prepared, it's like your body won't function as the way you want your brain to function it. So you have to be mentally prepared. An interesting fact that I found is that honey, Egyptians used honey in gashes, cuts, to stop infection. As nowadays, we use antibiotics to stop infection. So I found that very interesting. Medicine. They used herbs. They smashed it into pills and stuff. We use medicine in little tablets that we swallow with water. They used to make it and they put it into food and drinks. You drink it and you wouldn't really tell the difference for colds and flus. So this is these are some reasons why you should look more into Egypt because it's a very interesting place. The the history behind it, all these stuff, and it's in North Africa.
that's 